So uh, welcome to my latest blog. My name's Steve Hayes. I'm a product manager for Siemens for the Process Instrumentation Division. And today we're going to be looking at um, one of the option license for Somatic PDM, so Process Device Manager. This is following on from previous blogs. So um, if we just have a little bit of a refresher. So previously we covered the basic and service license. So here we have the service license, which is uh, 54 tags. We've also covered the extended license and the functionality that that gives you. So now we're going to look at the heart multiplexer license. So again, this is um, a bolt on option that can only be added to the basic license. Um, that is your building block. So you can remember back to the first blog we can't upgrade the single tag to this license. So part number's there, and it does what it says on the tin. It's there to support heart multiplexers. So what we're going to show you is um, how to set that up and the additional software tool that you get with PDM for configuring that. So the, the heart multiplexer that we're going to use is the new add-on card for the Somatic RTU 3030. So this particular version um, has got a uh, 4G card in and you can see the bolt-on card here. So this is the built-in web browser. So I'm connected to the spare ethernet port on this um, to configure it. And you can see here my heart communications. The card also supports um, Modbus 485 connections. So if I go to my expansion card, I need to set that up. So I've, I've, I've activated it. And then this is the important thing for, for heart pass through, heart IP. We need to activate that and we need to make a note of this port number. If we leave this set at the default, this is the default port number for heart pass through. I can test that here. So again, I have my LU240, which I've used on previous demos connected to this. And it's polled address zero. This does support heart multi-drop for eight devices, but it's found that my uh, short tag and my long tag. So I know that I've got a communication. So you can see it here, polling the other addresses, but um, I've only got one device connected. So I'm happy that I've got my connection. So the next stage is to use the, the tool that comes with PDM, which is a heart server. And I'm, I'm using this to, to build my network up. So if I just type in heart, I can see the heart server desktop app there. It's opened up my previous project. I want to show you how to do this from scratch. So we've got new, so heart server. So the first thing I need to do is add a network. And this is a TCP connection, so I'm connected to the RJ45 Ethernet port on the uh, RTU 3030. I can give that a name. Once I've got that, I need to add an I.O. system. Well, the I.O. system is TCP, so that's the first thing. And there's my port number. So all I need to do now is add the IP address of my port number of my RTU 3030. Oops, sorry, three. It should find that now. It's happy that it's found that. There is a little bit of a the name on the RTU has got a hidden character. Just have to delete that. It would have come up and told me that anyway. So now it's added the that's the RTU 3030, but it hasn't got the instrument. So a nice feature. I don't have to go off doing any programming. Just click on learn. And this is now going to go and find all of the devices connected to that RTU 3030. Um, it hasn't got a, a built-in database of uh, files knowing exactly what the instrument is, but at this stage, I'm not bothered. I just need it to find the device, and it will use standard heart commands to talk to that device. So there it is, the same tag again. So that's my long tag. If 
I double click that, it will start reading the process values from the device. I'll see these populating in the background. So I need to keep that project um, open, okay, uh, before I move on to, to PDM. So once I've uh, established and saved my, my heart server program, um, if I'm using this regularly, of course, I can put this to auto start in Windows. But um, I need it open, and then I'm going to open up PDM standalone. And I'm going to call this project, a new project, I call it heart server. Right, so I can see my networks here. Similar to before, insert new network, and this time it is going to be a heart server. Okay, and if I click right click the heart server, I can see this option that says synchronize. So it's going to look at the heart server program in the background. If I click on that it's going to do everything connected to us all the way down to the instrument it will now bring all of that into my PDM project and there we have it it must come all the way down in this case I've only got one device so I can right click this to prove the comms update diagnostics you have to be wary um, we say with uh, wireless heart that um, the speed of PDM is governed by the actual wireless heart recycle time and in some cases that can be very slow here I'm not wireless so it should be relatively fast so I can see I've connected to, to that probe I've got a connection so I can actually open up PDM now and with PDM I can test the connection again another nice way of testing the connection is to just look at the process values I can see here I have a connection and it's now retrieving the process values through the, the heart server to the probe and back to PDM So there's my process values and the status of my, my instrument. So you can have a few things here, some nice analog dials if you if you like those. And of course you've got access to your to your trends on on here so you can start to, to have a look at uh, the the performance of your level sensor in the vessel over a fill and empty cycle. So there you go. Um, relatively easy to set up a heart server network with PDM. I hope it has been useful and uh, stay tuned for future blogs. Thanks for listening.